Hey there and thank you very much for checking another video of mine. In today's video I will share a small update with you about everything that I've been doing so far. How is my trading system doing, what I've been backtesting, what are my plans moving forward, etc etc. So stay tuned. Hi guys and welcome back. I want to thank you for checking out this small update on everything I've been doing for the past month or so. Update on my trading system, update, update on my backtesting results that I've been doing and update where I'm going to go, uh, what are my plans, etc, etc. So without further ado, let's just, you know, dig straight into the content like, like we always do. If you're new here, consider subscribing if you didn't already. This is my, uh, you know, Forex trading channel, investing channel, financial education channel. I share my forex journey here, and I also share my, you know, my investments. What am, what are my thoughts? What are my thinking? What are my plans with forex and everything else? And with that being said, uh, here in front of my screen, I have my bada bim bada boom system old spreadsheet. Uh, the trades that I've, I've been testing here are uh, bads, guardless, and ciphers on your dollar. Uh, bads, guardless, and uh, ciphers on uh, six pair of my portfolio, which is Aussie CAD, Aussie dollar, USD CAD, Euro dollar, pound dollar, and pound yen. I've been testing ciphers only on Euro dollar and on pound yen. In this video, I will be covering how pound, pound yen ciphers impacted this system because on this spreadsheet, there is no pound yen ciphers, okay? Just bads and guardless on all of those six pairs and ciphers on euro dollar so in my old version of a system we were making around uh, 527 trades in the period of uh, five years so almost 100 trades per year around 10 per month and we were netting around 7700 pips per year making us what is it money management let's check it out 137 percent return in that five year period. I show six, but if you go in the trade lock, I will show you. It actually shows it's when I take when I back test, I actually need a, a least minimum of five years or hundred or hundred trades. I always go for those for that hundred trades plus uh sample period a sample samples so I at least have a hundred trade sample so that I can you know filter and get the get the trades out that work works the best for me. And uh, that's why in some years I took less trades, in some years more. That's why this day, day range is kind of skewed because in, I, for some periods I had to go all the way up uh, to 2012 and all the way up to do 2018. And for the some pairs you found 100 trade sample in like four years. So that's the biggest difference here. Basically, the most of the action happens in five years. So I'm saying that's why I'm saying five year period and we made around 137% return in the five year period. That's with the old system. With the new system, where we added the pound yen, we made actually a little bit more. So we added 41 trades and we added around 750 pips, which makes us which makes us 20% increase, almost a 20% increase in a net return in the same time period, which is basically awesome if you ask me by just adding one strategy and by trading it throughout the five year period just adding 41 trades that I took throughout the five, five years so like eight trades per year you took additional eight trades per year and you increase your return for 20 percent that is awesome that is awesome if you ask me so moving forward I'll be trading euro dollar ciphers and pound yen ciphers and now I'm going to show you uh, you know, your dollar cipher and pound yen cipher, in addition to my already bad uh, setup of bats and guardless on this on my six pair portfolio. Yeah. So how my trading looks like so far. And then we will go to check out the pound yen and how I filter it and what did I found useful for my pound yen cipher backtesting. OK, and so let's go to the tra trade lock. So so far this year, I took 12 trades. Out of those 12 trades, I may I took 67% winners, 33% losers, and I netted around 100 pips. And this is the data, including the last week of trading, uh, which was pretty pretty boring week. We actually got just 
two trades one of one of them was winner the second was loser so it's actually a negative week for me yeah so that that's how it looks like so far i'm happy i this needs to decrease a little bit my average win rate is around 60 or 56 percent let's check it out let's check it out in the system that's why the system is for so oh sorry yeah it's 56 so currently i'm winning a little bit more than i i should but over time i'm sure that it will level up and that i will get to the point where i'm uh winning 56 up to 60 percent of time the only thing here is that uh, uh i took you know the second target didn't win as much so it, that will also level up most of the time so win only ah well we have a few winners for second targets here here and here this was a nice winner two two targets winner almost almost a percent and i was hoping that i will make you know two targets winner on both of these trades no 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 on both of these trades but one of them just hit targets one and the second uh, actually got stopped out for both of the targets so that kind of sucked so i lost what 30 29 pips which is not a lot but yeah it is what it is you know that's why we are here for to uh to survive the periods of consolidation of my equity curve moving moving sideways and to be here for this up moves for the bull trend in the equity curve so basically this is how my equity curve looks like currently and we will see how will this evolve throughout the year we are just in my second month of live trading uh the first month was i was up around one percent currently i'm slightly down but nothing much and then we will see we still have like 10 months to go or so okay so that's the like a small update on everything i've been doing and this is basically the yearly breakdown that i was explaining to explaining to you just a second ago where i'm saying that most of my actions do happen in the five-year period 2013 all the way to up to 2017 and if you check out the 2012 like i had a 180 pips and in 2018 81 pip because i didn't test all of the strategies in the in the 2018 you know i always starting my back testing from 2013 and this is where uh things heat up you know and then going most of my trades uh, i already have my higher trade sample before i come to 2018 so i just stop i filter that and then move forward that's how i roll so far and i and if i don't have a hundred trade sample by the 2018 i just continue of my back testing that that's basically it yeah so money management i covered everything here that i wanted to say i showed you my back testing results for overall of my system so i'm expecting to make and hoping to make this year at least 15 percent return i'll be tremendously happy for my first year if i succeed in making 15 to 20 percent return on my capital if not well we will see what will happen so far i'm not going in uh, so far at least i'm not down overall i'm up and i like what i see uh next year we will see how big of a capital i'll be trading if this year goes good i'll definitely uh, increase the trading capital maybe in uh dozens dozens of hundred dozens of thousands of euros probably starting with 20 or thirty thousand euros next year if everything goes very well this year uh so we go to pound yen back testing results here they are we took 104 trades expectancy is very bad profitability is 60 percent and we netted in the five-year period 187 pips which actually sucks big time but the beauty of it is in filtering so with all of these data that i that i picked up from the market uh i have a big enough trading sample as you can see 104 trades to filter quality to make a quality filtering of those trades so when i go to backtesting tune up you can see the sum throughout the hour so first what my uh trading time in my system is i have two trading options i can trade the pairs from 6 in the morning until 5 p.m gmt time zone or from 6 in the morning until 1 p.m so i'm going to do a little bit of filtering here in front of the screen so that you can see how to implement this as well and if i filter from 6 in the morning until 5 p.m you will see that the results are even worse so that we have a negative return on our capital but the the whole point of this is that you can actually see that from 2 p.m gmt time 
everything goes south and the biggest losers are in this time period. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, you know, filter it out. So because I'm I, that 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 that's the option that I have. I'm not allowed to trade bats on pound yen from uh, 1 p.m. also. That that makes it a little bit better. Right, 300 pips almost on return on the capital. But the thing here is, if you know my system, and if you were checking out the numbers, you can see that from the old system to the new one, I actually increased the return for 20%, or that I netted 700 pips. So how did I go from 300, almost 300 that you see here, to 700 that I showed you in the overall system? Well, well, here is how. I simply filtered the maximum stop loss that's the one thing that we forgot to do here and this is the one thing that i'm gonna do here okay so you gotta every every pair is a little bit different and you gotta know the uh pair personality okay so i'm not gonna filter for 75 pips maximum stop loss because for the beast this is a little bit too low level and the most of the trades happen most of the trades have stop loss a slightly bigger than 75 pips and so i on a beast for cypher beast is also known in the trading world as a pound yen pair because it uh, the atr is huge and the pair is moving so fast so for this pair in my system i'll allow myself to have a maximum risk of 100 pips okay so if you filter the uh, trades that have bigger less than 100 pips you will get a good result so let's do this Tap, tap, and then look, where is the big, where are those big numbers? Nothing, nothing, 115, what else do we have? 105, 119, 143, you see how big, a, how big of a stop loss we had in some of those trades? Uh, yeah, I think this is it, let's see. Oh, 101. Yeah, so far. There we go. So which so these are the results that we ended up with. 750 pips from uh 7 in the morning until 1 p.m. And basically that's what I implemented into my system. So what I did is I went to the back testing, I filtered the time from 6 in the morning until 1 p.m. as you can see here. And I removed my stop loss. I removed the bigger stop loss, more uh, the bigger uh, the stop loss bigger than 100 pips, and I got myself 41 trades, as you can see here. Did I forget something? Wait, I think I forgot a trade or two, maybe at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, two trades. There we go. So this is actually the result that you can expect from trading Pony and Cypher the way I'm trading it. So we have a winner, loser, few winners, loser, few winners, loser, winners, loser, winner, winner, loser. And most of my winners are bigger than my losers. And when it all adds up, I end up making a 41 trade through five year period and making 750 pips, which means that I can expect around 30. What is it? 20, 20, 15 or you know, 17 pips per each trade that I take, which is not so bad if you ask me. And basically, guys, this is the small update on everything I've been doing lately. I'm also writing a small ebook that I'll be sharing with you all on. Um, it's called, I think I'll call it uh, my Forex trading journey or your Forex trading journey or something in the, uh, you know, something in those lines and where I'll be sharing everything that I wish I knew when I was first starting uh, and hopefully you will find valuable and it will be of course free you'll be able to check it out just by giving me just providing the signing up for uh, my email newsletter where I'll be sending you emails when I post new videos and that kind of stuff uh, well basically with that being said thank you very much for watching me following me on my YouTube also check out my Instagram if you're not following me on my YouTube consider subscribing there is a link Click that subscribe button, also smash the bell button so that YouTube notifies you every time I post a video. Click that like button, it does help with the algorithm and share the video if you find it valuable. With that being said, again, thank you very much for watching until the end of this video and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.